second in this one is called Aetherstream Leviathan, and this one is not really a board game, it's more of a aerial war game, except this is a aerial war game in space. In this game, players are going to be choosing a pilot and a ship, and then you're going to be combining their stats to determine your maneuverability, your durability, your shield, and your firepower at different ranges. There's also a bunch of stats that are going to help you command, pilot, and manage your ship, and all these different stats are going to be used to create dice pools, and the more dice that you have, the more chances that you have success is depending on the action that you're trying to perform. This is a game where players are going to be taking turns moving and attacking with their ships, and I don't have a picture of it, but there's going to be an associated grid linked with each of the different types of ships, and you're going to be using that to determine how easy it is to get you to certain areas out on the board. Depending on where you want to move relative to your ship, that grid is going to tell you what sort of stats you need to get there, and the stats that you have are going to determine how difficult it is to make that maneuver. When you attack, you're going to be building up a pool of d10 dice, and these are all going to be based on your various stats, and you you could get additional bonuses depending on strategic positioning against your opponent. Any dice that you roll of a 7 or higher are going to represent an accurate shot towards your opponent's ship, but if you manage to roll any of your dice as 10s, then those are going to be exploding dice which will allow you to roll an additional die. Your opponent still does have the opportunity to evade some of these shots, and they're going to be rolling dice depending on their stats in order to avoid damage. Each success that they make is going to be negating one of your dice. And this is where a really neat mechanism comes into play because all the remaining dice that weren't avoided are going to be re-rolled and then the value of those dice determines the type of hit that you made with that shot, with each of them having some different effects. And if this one does sound interesting to you, you can go ahead and check it out and I will have it linked in the description down below.